hello everyone and welcome back so in this video i would like to quickly explain about kotlin we would actually in this video we will install kotlin and run a sample program so it's a for it's for the beginner that who have no information about kotlin so after this watching this video you will able to understand kotlin how we can write a program in kotlin so just give me your brief introduction that Kotlin is uh, used JVM Java technology in the back end so you must have to be installed Java first and as you already have Java then it's very good but if you don't have then you can download Java and install Java like as I have I did install Java in my system and let me show that Java and version so i have java 19.02 version once i have java then what i need to go uh, and in a com in a browser i need to type download kotlin compiler zip like this type of keyword i need to supply so it's releases JetBrain. actually kotlin is a chat product so you can go there in a github site and just download this uh, this zip files for Windows once you download this zip file you just need to unzip this zip file once you unzip this file then you have a uh, uh, like bin folder and you just need to give him a environment set a path in an environment variable like as let me show first I will uh, just I did before your demo so yeah here is my path and then okay so I just define the path uh, in the environment edit environment variable and then save it once I save it then I can test it Kotlin dash version okay so which mean actually I have Kotlin is, is also set up on my PC or system or laptop whatever you have machine so first thing is Java which is I have already installed second thing I have downloaded the Kotlin compiler and then I unzip it and uh, take a path in a bit uh, in a in an environment variable and s just run Kotlin in where version so it means that all is set so once is all is set now I am going to tell you about something that how we write a program in Kotlin uh, just I am using Visual Studio you can use any editor uh, for your convenience for example table.kt kt is the extension of Kotlin and here side by side actually I'm comparing table.java file java.java file as you are familiar with Java so we need to import Java utility scanner files so uh, same with Kotlin but we don't need to you know supply a semicolon here and we don't need to uh, initialize uh, write a code in a, a class but however Kotlin is also supported are uh, object oriented uh, oops uh, you know uh, concepts so but function is a main so here is a this is a starting point for Kotlin like we have a in Java we have a main so I hope pretty left uh, uh, you I would say that rest of the things are pretty simple we need to use variable initialize well print print ln so these are the same things as we saw in Java so but they have a system to out but like that so once you develop this code so how we can run it first there is two step in Java what we need let me show in Java that Java what we need to show table dot Java we need we just need to write and then this is a table program so what we need in Java we have Java and then our program name dot Java and then it's execute our Java okay but in Kotlin Kotlin we have two step first we need to convert our program into jar file once is convert a jar file then we need to use JVM to run this jar file so let me show this uh, how we can use it so let me okay one minute 
okay so this is command so first I am going to convert uh, my program into jar file once it convert it like this then we need to actually run our second step which is because Kotlin as as I said earlier that using JVM so let me run this one so it's now it's running Kotlin program so the output is same you know so this is actually how we can write a Kotlin program so the advantage why we are using uh, or switching Kotlin Kotlin has a modified I would say modified or upgradation or extension of Java programming language uh, however uh, now Android development is totally officially I would say it that shifted on Kotlin's and also Kotlin support data science projects so that's why I think Kotlin is is it is now in future so you all of you need to know uh, and learn about Kotlin so I hope you understand this tutorial and do like and comment about this video thank you very much for watching this video